So where were we? Where did part one leave off? Okay, we talked about his childhood. We talked about his high school days, his college days. Uh, we talked about the Rams, Super Bowl, drama. That's right. We left off with Jared Goff embracing the Motor City. I want to talk about, you know, coming from L.A., you know, big Hollywood, big everything. Yep. Now you're in Detroit. What's that transition been like and how, how do the, the, the local fans here embrace you? Yeah, it's been great, man. It's been a lot of fun. I, I think coming out here, the, the history of this organization is is different. You know, it's 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 been around for so long. It's so deeply rooted in this community. And on March 18th, 2021, Jared Goff was traded to the Detroit Lions. Hey. I think it's the city, I think it's the people. It's a different place than most people understand, I think. The city's heartbeat and the city's perseverance and, and who these people are is, is, is something that I really am excited to play for and, and to win for. In exchange for quarterback Matthew Stafford and a 2022 and 2023 first round pick and a 2021 third round pick. Jared Goff, born and raised in sunny California, is now living in frigid Detroit, Michigan. However, you won't hear one word of him complaining about this. The opposite, in fact. The Midwest uh, was definitely new and um, I've loved it, man. I've really loved it. Sure, there was a transition period, but um, I love it out here. He's fully embraced his new home. Now, the trade was crucial in the rebuilding of the Detroit Lions. They had a plan, although I don't think a lot of us saw it in the beginning, especially with Jared Goff. Now, in my last video, I listed a bunch of stats and accomplishments that Jared Goff acquired throughout his high school, his college, his Rams career, and I don't really want to do that here. But I will say that his first season with the Detroit Lions was a bit of a struggle. But this was at the embryonic stage of a complete rebuild from top to bottom. They had a new owner, Sheila Hamp Ford. They had a new GM, Brad Holmes and they had the new head coach, Dan Campbell. The Lions finished the 2021 season three and 13 and one. The highlight of the 2021 season is when Goff threw a game-winning pass to Amon Ross St. Brown in week 13 against the Minnesota Vikings to win the game. Goff's got it, back, looks, throws, and yes! yes! Touchdown Detroit Lions, they did it! Amon Ross St. Brown in the receiving end! It's hard to win in this league, man. It's hard, but that's what makes it that much more special. I'm so proud of you guys. And Jared Goff finished the season with 3,245 yards, 19 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. Those actually aren't bad numbers, considering his wide receiver one was a rookie, and the Detroit Lions were just not a great team. Again, it was a top to bottom rebuild. And he did miss three games, due to injury and being on the COVID-19 reserve list. On top of that, Matthew Stafford, who was traded to the Rams for Jared Goff, won a Super Bowl that season. I, I think, first of all, I've got so much respect for, for Matthew and, and Sean and those guys. And, you know, of course, there's, you know, if I said it was easy, again, I'd be lying. It's hard, right? Of course, it was conflicting, right? Of course, you want them to, those guys to win it, but it's hard to watch, right? You, yeah. you, and we had our shot, we didn't do it. They had their shot this year and they got it done. And I'm happy for those guys. The Jared Goff's offseason was a pretty busy one. Back in 2019, he started a clothing line called JG16. And since his move to Detroit, he partnered his brand with Merit to design and sell high quality products that help kids get to college. Through Merit's FATE program, any dollar used to purchase one of these products will be matched 100% by Jared Goff to help with Detroit's youth college scholarships. I will leave a link to their site in the description below. Please check it out. The point is, Jared Goff is fully embracing the Motor City and using his clothing line to benefit Detroit's youth. And now begins the 2022 season. The beginning of this season was a bit of a struggle for Jared Goff and a young Detroit Lions team. They started off one and six. They hit rock bottom with a shutout 29-0 loss against the Patriots. 
most of the losses were pretty tough battles, and the lines did show promise with Jared Goff, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Jamal Williams, the running back. Things started to take a turn in Week 8 against division rival, the Packers, where the Lions defeated the Packers 15-9. Then they beat the Bears 31-30. Then they beat the Giants 31-18. They did suffer a loss to the Bills on Thanksgiving Day. However, that game came down to a last-minute field goal by the Bills. After that, the Lions started showing dominance and convincing wins against teams like the Jaguars, the Jets, the Vikings, and the Bears. Now, after a one and six start, and seeing that turnaround after week eight, the Detroit Lions were knocking on the doors of the playoffs. In the final week of the season, their game against the Packers was bumped to the primetime slot, and they needed the Rams to beat the Seahawks. And hope springs eternal in Seattle. Well, that didn't happen. The Lions were officially out of the playoffs. However, Green Bay now had a chance to get in. All they had to do was beat the Lions. being out of the playoffs themselves, the Lions made it their mission to keep the Green Bay Packers out of the playoffs as well. They went into Green Bay, their house, and beat them. Jared Goff finished the 2022 season throwing for 4,438 yards with 29 touchdowns and only seven interceptions. And they finished the season nine and eight. With the 2023 season underway, the Lions now sit at six and two, and are regarded by many as a top 10 team, a top five team even to some. And I think people forget that Jared Goff already went to a bad team with the Los Angeles Rams and later took them to the Super Bowl. He's been in this spot before. He's a Pro Bowl quarterback with the Rams and now with the Lions. He's fully embraced the city of Detroit and has found his new home with the Detroit Lions. I don't think we know how difficult that can be. People fear sudden change. Now, there are some people who, who love change. It's an infinite-minded thing to embrace uncertainty, to see opportunity and surprise. To be born and raised in a place like California, and then picking up and moving to a place like Detroit, Michigan. And I'm not saying that one place is better than the other. All I'm saying is that they're pretty different. As far as handling the transition, it, it was, uh... You know, it was a challenge, but it was a challenge that I took on and, and was ready for. And similarly with you know this this whole team and, and, and what what it's been through over the last you know couple of decades or however long um, it's been since a playoff win, it's uh, you know it's a challenge that I, that I embrace. But for Jared Goff to go through a, a big change like that and having nothing but a positive attitude is simply awesome. Chaos and order, and in every bit of chaos, there's the possibility of order, and in every bit of order, there's the possibility of chaos. And that's the way, right? That's the path of life. That's life itself. And where you're supposed to be is right on the border between the two of those. And why is that? Stable enough, engaged enough, right? So not only are you doing what you should be doing, you're doing it in a way that increases the probability that you'll do it better tomorrow. He set up a charity to help the Detroit's youth. He's kept a competitive attitude and he's fully embraced that change. And now the Detroit Lions are looking the best they have since, 
I can't even remember. All I know is that I am happy that Jared Goff is our quarterback. Thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do me a favor, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. What do you think of Jared Goff? I really appreciate it. Cheers.